my sincere request to the government is please reduce maadi gurugale yak is cost maartira 4500 thumba thumba jaasti agide i wanted to read out some testimonials for you guys which will be really helpful hello guys ellarigu namaskara glu this is ashish mathi for you welcome to another vlog first of all a huge thanks to all the people who have given a positive comments on my videos thank you so much it is really delightful and overwhelming which helps me and motivates me in making more videos as well so thank you so much for all you people tumma 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 dhanyavadagalu to all you people out there previously i had actually uh, uploaded a video of the partially locked down bangalore okay i had been to manipal hospital on my way i just showed all the places how exactly the haunted place looks the haunted bangalore looks so any of you guys have not seen the video please click on the i icon on the right top corner and along with this the banks the atms uh, the hospitals everything are open um, and also the um, essential service shops like vegetables the small shops everything are open but until 12 o'clock after 12 you can't find anything but yes medical store and banks everything definitely will remain open so those of you guys who have not seen the video please click on the i icon on the right top corner you can see the partially locked down bangalore but along with this i would like to say we ourselves should be responsible enough to control the covid we have to break the chain okay so government will definitely provide lockdown to us but we ourselves should not should feel that you know let's go let's not go out okay let's be at home let's break the chain only then we can actually survive trust me survive because looking at bangalore's case it is going to be a zombie world 2200 cases yesterday 2100 cases day for yesterday just in bangalore so things are really getting worse out of control even the health minister uh, he said that only god can save the state so just imagine the state you know just imagine the situation right now so guys please my sincere request enadro important kelsa idra matra aache hogi illa andre maneyindane kelsa maadi um that's all i can actually say no other words and um, the main reason why i came today is because um i wanted to read out some testimonials for you guys which will be really helpful i've been telling you guys to read the pinned comments with the testimonials but most of you guys are missing it so what i thought today is i thought let me just select uh some four to five uh, testimonials from our neighboring states like um, kerala um tamil nadu andhra and maharashtra okay so from these four states i have selected four testimonials and i would just read it out for you guys so here are the testimonials especially for you this will be definitely helpful stay tuned here we go I'm going to read out the testimonials for you guys. Please listen to it. It will be really helpful when you're traveling. First one is um, Anand uh, Suretkar, traveling from Pune to Belgaum. If you're traveling from Maharashtra, the e-pass is mandatory. Getting the e-pass approved is based entirely on luck. <laughs> Many times it gets rejected, never approved. So quickly uh, apply for one if you are planning to travel by road. My e-pass was approved on twelfth of June, a Sunday. Um, being a curfew, we decided to travel in the night. We traveled smoothly from Pune to uh, Kugnul, um, Naka, with the um, e-pass checked at four checkpoints. Make sure the e-pass is properly prepared, as validation is strict. Once we reached Kugnul check post at gate one, the Seva Sindhu acknowledgement is checked. Um, one, only acknowledgement is required. This is what I've been telling it. Only acknowledgement with the RD number is more than sufficient for you to travel. Okay. Uh, only acknowledgement is required. It needs to be approved as per SOP dated June sixth. Karnataka Seva workers are very courteous. Even if you didn't fill a Seva Sindhu registration, they help you to fill it on the spot and move you forward to gate number two. Great. tumma tumma alle kelsa at gate number 2 vehicle parking was done and screening was done screening involves temperature uh, scanning also your seva sindhu approval is done here at the screening center once the screening is done you are given a token at another table for a vehicle pass if you are traveling with a driver who is going to be returning do inform the same gate 3 is vehicle pass stage where you hand over the token and take the pass vehicle uh, and take the pass vehicle can move from the gate pass to gate 4 at gate 4 uh, details are taken and based on your location the next place to report is informed i was informed to report to the corporation um office at corporation office we were again screened and stamped um was embedded on the palm or uh, the stamp was embedded on the palm you are informed to install three apps for the quarantine period once 
with this three apps in the sense you have the quarantine watch you have the arogya app and the aptamitra okay these are the three and even if you have seva sindhu still on your uh, phone it's great okay seva sindhu as i told you before it can be either app or you can actually access through the portal thanks to ashish and other who helped me to make this journey okay so um this is quite uh, this is the testimonial number 1 So the next one is uh, from uh, Shreya Shinde. It is also from Co Maharashtra, Kolhapur to Belgaum. As per SOP, approval is not required for interstate travel from other state, but you need to register on Seva Sindhu. I was planning to travel to Belgaum, non-log part currently on 17th of July. Um, I had registered on Seva Sindhu on 13th July, and I received the message showing my registration number, starting with RD. in the message it was mentioned that this is not authorization for the travel and wait for the approval seva sindhu helpline people said if you have received such message you will need to wait for the approval but i didn't get any message seva sindhu tracking system was down hence i could not see the status of my application so i started to look for help from ashish and he confirmed that as per the rules no approval is required only rd number is more than sufficient thanks a lot ashish for this because only with that i went ahead to start my journey no one on the check post asked for the qr code and the e pass approval kognoli check post okay this is the check post only seva sindhu registration number is required police and health department government people are helpful but you can't rely on the hygiene over here please take care of your hygiene with mask sanitizer and hand gloves for the pass to exit from your state okay i had Uh, acquired e pass from maharashtra police okay so exiting from maharashtra police maharashtra is also requires a maharashtra police pass so please make a point out of that okay this is from akshara aksh uh, she came from kerala for writing an exam thank you so much akshara uh, thank you ashish for your valuable advice uh, because of you i went to karnataka for exam and came back with out much trouble i applied for pass on seva sindhu as interstate business traveler took a separate pass for my husband and me uh, though they didn't ask for covid negative certificate we carried them for safety when we reached the check post the police only asked mobile number and id once again thank you ashish mathi for your hard work please use protective equipment gloves mask and face shields uh, while contacting with the check post authorities because there are high chance for getting disease there due to the lack of facilities okay that is karnataka not kerala okay so the main point here is as i told you before a lot of people will be there you need to be very much cautious and even while stamping your hand okay don't place your palm on the table god knows how many would have actually placed there so just levitate your hand they would just seal it and never fetch any pen to sign you will have some kind of a formality to sign that don't take pen from anyone just carry yourself the next one is Sujata Desikan this is from Tamil Nadu Ashish Mathew you and your videos were reason i was confident about traveling back home thank you for doing such a great job i'm sharing my testimonials i had applied for seva sindhu pass on 24th however i was unable to travel due to the lockdown on the chennai managed to travel today i applied seva sindhu pass for me my mother and my grandma who is 88 got a pass from tamil nadu as well i had hired a cab for us one mistake i did was not to putting pass uh for the driver after starting the chennai this is what i used to tell okay apply a pass even though uh, some people say that you know it is a yellow board driver don't need any kind of a pass but on the safer side please have the pass so that you know even uh, he can have an asul free uh, travel when he's back i don't want him to uh, you know um, get into trouble because cops can be cranky at times um only pass is looked and okay after chart after uh, starting from chennai Uh, we encountered around five check posts. Did not stop for more than a minute. Only pass was looked at and checked if we were all wearing mask. Okay, smooth travel till Ati Bele. Reached the check post, parked the car, and we saw that there were many types of queues, like interstate travelers, transit travelers, and two lines of home quarantine. All three of us, along with the driver, disembarked and went to the queue. my grandma was asked to go and sit in the car she was she wasn't stamped uh, for home quarantine due to her age great hats off here my blunder caused a slight discomfort the police initially said you have to register for the driver otherwise we won't allow the line was we stood in where really nice people and and said put now for him and we will allow him however there were no slots i inquired with the police in the other line he said you can walk down and take cab across the border i didn't want to take a risk because my grandma's age 
so thought of calling my father from the home and waited for around one and one and a half hours at the border line later the corpor- the corporation official came to us and and uh, my and to me yeah later a corporation official came to us and my mom explained the situation he told us to change the check post as chand kapoor uh, apply for today in seva sindhu so i applied for the business traveler pass with entry in chandapur chand kapoor and exit at atibele went to the police station this time friendly ones they looked and talked amongst themselves for a bit and decided to allow all of us it was really nice of them to do after all no issues finally reached home after telling my apartment security not to ask for code certificate when the government itself didn't ask us great it's home quarantine now since about 4 hours thank you ashish hope my testimonials help someone oh please um please please apply seva sindhu pass for the driver no matter who tells you otherwise people may misguide you follow ashish video throughout he is the most informed cheers hey thank you so much guys thank you so much all right so this is the last one okay this is from andhra pradesh i know it is a little lengthy but worth it surya narayana um viswandula one week ago okay my dear ashish mathe good morning i am really delighted to inform you that i reached safely uh, to karnataka from hyderabad telangana state yesterday without any hassle a big big thanks to ashish mathew a thermal screening was done at bagipally check post uh, and a format was filled up with details of uh, details of seva sindhu permit number and other information followed by that i was allowed to travel uh, to into karnataka by putting a um, hq stamp on my hand eventually furthermore thanks to your latest videos uploaded yesterday was with the good news for maharashtra that they do not need any iq anymore anyways i would like to thank um, once again thank you so much ashish for your support continue your videos and help thank you so much thanks a lot i hope this was a little lengthy but i thought it would be definitely helpful for a lot of people out there who are planning to travel okay a lot of mistakes while i was reading because uh, uh, i'm not very good reader so i'm really sorry i can speak but i'm not a very good reader um, but anyways um, thank you so much for these wonderful testimonials and i would request all of you guys to um, still upload your testimonials and i would just read it out it would be really helpful for people who are traveling newly it gives a lot of confidence trust me gives a lot of confidence because people are still in a skeptical situation that should i travel or not no need to worry you can still travel lockdown in bangalore is uh, a very important thing but yes it's not very strict very uh, you know stringent as it was lockdown 1 and 2 along with this uh, thank you so much um, uh, karnataka cm and the officials who have actually launched a new portal called as covid helpline bangalore.com i'm just mentioning that on to the description you can access a lot of things from here you need a mobile um, mobile uh, covid testing especially for the senior citizens and covid patients and uh, if you need ambulances okay you need the details of different fever clinics as well as icmr labs uh, you can just click on them you will get the complete details but let me just read out some of those icmr labs because a lot of people have been asking me which are the icmr labs which are there in bangalore okay the first thing is uh, you have the department of lab medicine narayana rudyalaya bomasandra the cost is 4500 the next one is astral labs vasanagar cost is 4500 manipal hospital kodiyalli cost is 4500 sakra world hospital marthahalli the cost is 4500 um everything is for 4500 which is really which sucks trust me 4500 is really high okay um uh, next is narayana netralaya ai hospital rajajanagar uh, 4500 lab service apollo hospital banargatta main road um, uh, it is 4500 the last one is not last one you have astra cmi hospital hebbal 4000 it's 5000 bucks and your department of lab vikram hospital miller roads 4500 Columbia uh, Referral Hospital Malleshwaram West 4500 and uh, you have the last one Trigen Diagnosis Kengeri Main Road 4500 now guys let me just tell you 4500 don't you think so it is really high 4500 is really really high okay a piece a person from a normal family even if he is covid symptomatic he would definitely never go ahead and do a covid test because of this particular rate so please my sincere request to the government is please reduce maadi gurugale yak is cost maartira 4500 thumba thumba jaasti agide please 4500 is really high and i would sincerely uh, you know request cm to reduce this agala thumba jaasti agide thumba 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 jaasti um yeah so i hope this particular video was very informative i have just mentioned everything 
please go through the um, description you would get all the details about this particular helpline who are there in bangalore okay um so i hope this particular video was informative please do share it to all your friends who are planning to travel who have already applied seva sindhu pass who have not applied the seva sindhu pass please pass this message and also this particular video and also like and share and subscribe my channel as well so this is ashish matthew um signing off i don't have anything else to say right now but yes lockdown seems to be not extended as of now cm said we will not extend it so it is just a 7 days lockdown until 22nd early morning 5 o'clock aste agide avaga enu illa so thank you so much guys this is ashish matthew jai karnataka mate jai hind bye bye see you safe journey safe agri okay take care